hello what's up youtube in this tutorial i'll show you why the lats you buy or why the presets you buy from online or from different photographers don't work well with most of your images and how you can easily get them to work best or to fit in your images if at all you're a person that buys lats from photographers or online or anywhere on the internet so i'll show you why these lats may not be working well for you and how you can go around it in this very video and if at all you feel like you want to purchase my lats or my presets after watching this make sure you check the links in the description of this video so that you can support the channel to keep on creating more content for you guys that is going to help you improve on your photography so a link to my digital store is going to be in the description of this video so that you can buy different lats and i also have a retouching and color grading master class that you can buy from the link in or the link to my digital my digital store so right now i have two images that i want to demonstrate on and i want to color grade them the same way so that you guys can follow along and understand what i'm trying to portray to you so usually when you're buying these lights or presets online usually you have a disclaimer that images have to be shot within a given range of white balance for example if i told you shoot below 4500 kelvins it means that your images are going to be cooler and if at all you shoot uh, from 5000 and above or from 5000 to around 6500 kelvins it means that your image is going to be warmer so for cool it means that your kelvins are going to be lower and you are going to be having such an image and if at all you shoot very high kelvins that is around 5500 to around 6500 this is the image you're going to be ending up with so i had to use the same image and i slightly cooled this down to match the description of this very tutorial so i'm just going to be color grading this image i'm going to start uh, with the warm one and i want to show you why most photographers prefer to show you that you should always shoot your images or you should apply the presets on images that are shot in a warm kind of white balance so this is the warm image and i'll show you how easy this can be when you are working with a warm image as regarding or as opposed to working or applying a preset on a cool image so just want to do a simple color grading and how i do color grade in photoshop then copy and apply the same settings on a cool image so for this case i'm just going to come right here to my hue and saturation adjustment layer and i'm going to come down to the red first of all then i'm going to come to the lightness and simply drag the lightness down and just look at how the image is just getting transformed by just moving one slider then the next thing i'm going to i'm just going to come to the yellows under uh, the hue and saturation and simply turn down the lightness still and just look at what we have just done with just a single click so this is the before and after before after then we're just going to add another adjustment layer which is the black and white adjustment layer to add more contrast or that kind of melanin or rich skin color to the model then after creating it i'm just going to come to the blend mode and change the blend mode to multiply right here and simply reduce on the opacity so this is how i, I would color grade any image at any point within photoshop so this is it then after that i'm just going to come and create one more adjustment layer which is the selective color and, I've, and for this i'm just going to come and turn up the science just like that and this looks okay and i'm just going to reduce on the yellows among uh, the red color just like this then i'm going to come to my blacks and simply intensify the blacks just like that to darken the blacks slightly and i prefer to cool down the image after doing everything so this is what we have for the color grading process for this very image so i'm just going to put all these in a group by using shift and coming and pressing or clicking on the lower mouse layer and pressing ctrl g or command g to group this and i'm just going to name this to color grid so for example if i told this is the light that you bought and you apply it to this very image just look at how easily transformed it is going to be and how easy it is to color grade an image shot with a very warm temperature or shot at very high kelvins it means that the image is going to be warm so that is how simple it is to color grade a warm image but if at all it is to color grade a cool image which is this one right here just look at how cool this is so i'm just going to drag this color grading folder onto this very 
this image rather so this is a cool image and this is this is a warm image and this is a cold image so i'm just going to drag the folder that contains all the color grading adjustments to a cold image just drag and drop it onto this image so this is what we have right now just look at how the image is looking and it is the same color grading that we have applied onto this very image just look at the difference this doesn't look nice at all but if at all it is a look that you want to go in for this is it but if at all you usually want to get a look that is close to uh, that photographer's style from whom you have bought the large soap presets make sure that you shoot in warm or warm kelvins and you can see what it has been able to achieve the same adjustment or the same color grading has transformed this image to look like this and the same color grading has transformed this very cool image uh, from this to this so i would recommend that usually you shoot your images in very high kelvins or you make sure that you shoot a warm image meaning you're going to be having more oranges and red colors in the skin tones and with that you can easily apply those presets that you buy online and you're going to be having the best out of your color grading and you won't be able to or you won't make a loss after buying or purchasing these color grading or lats or presets online so this is it for this video and if i told you I found it helpful don't forget to support the channel by purchasing my lats or presets and they're going to be helping you and the disclaimer is always make sure to shoot your images in very high or warm temperatures or kelvins and you're going to be able to use the lats or presets very well and effectively so this is it for this tutorial and if at all you have loved this don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe this channel if at all you have been watching and you're not subscribed yet to this channel ronix from ronix photography thank you for watching and see you in yet more amazing trials and don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating